Hey everybody, this is Retro Revival here. I'm back with you guys. Peace to all of you. Salam. You know, that means peace. You know what I'm saying? And we, we gotta understand some stuff in life. So I made my skin different. I'm not uh, Ronald Reagan anymore. Thankfully. Because I, I don't like when I had that Ronald Reagan Minecraft skin. It made me feel gross, man. Made me feel like I should have took a shower. Uh, but look, I just hunted down some stuff for us to get. We're playing, well, this is a let's play of Minecraft, by the way, everybody. I'm starting back the let's play. And I'm gonna hopefully finish it. Because I got 20 new subscribers overnight. You guys are really cool dudes and women. For real, like, I appreciate that so much, you guys. For real, for real. Because I was surprised when I woke up. I brushed my eyes like with my hand I'm like what did I see correctly or am I you know seeing the truth shout out to you cool people now there's about you know 340 cool people on this whole website and you guys are them how's that feel everybody you, you guys are cool so we're the chosen you know because but no we work in the interests of the common good that is to say that what the creator would want us to do if there is one. So those who may not believe in such a thing, please remember one thing, because when I was younger, maybe I thought, okay, there's no God, right? Then I realized Nietzsche didn't really help anything uh, by vibe checking God and saying, well, God doesn't exist. We killed him. Um, indeed, we did by making ourselves into them and saying God took your land God wants your country God wants to beat you God wants to slap your wife um, God said slap your wife you know what I mean that type of stuff that's Nietzsche and stuff so if we fall into the idea of oh there's no God we end up becoming our own gods and it's not good so I find that like you know it doesn't hurt to have a pessimism of intellect, optimism of will, and um, act as you would want to be treated, or if there's a God observing you, uh, how you would want him to see. You know what I mean, everybody? I just hope I can open some people's eyes, because at one point in time, I did question religion, and I, now I look back at myself and say, well, hey, I was not wrong for questioning. I was wrong for believing that because one was not true, the rest were not. I don't worship the God that feeds the rich. I worship the God that uh, helps a common man. Okay? The common man needs to reclaim God because it's been taken away from us and sold back to us. And they said, there is a hell, by the way, until they realized about 10 years ago, they sold enough hell so that they could uh, tell you the truth. There's not a hell. Uh, this is probably it. But, you know, uh, it doesn't have to be one, is what I'm saying, everybody. But we're still hunting because we're like hunter-gatherers at this point. But we got a mansion, but we still need to catch some food, man. Life is about sustenance. Minecraft can help us learn a lot of stuff. And, you know, hey people, what, uh, what my dude is wearing is called a kofia, right? Or a kofia. That is a Palestinian thing. And the, the checkers represent trade routes and also checkpoints, which the British uh, made them go to and be humiliated when they occupied Palestine. So it's a symbol of resistance to oppression. Now you guys know a little bit. And also, the red and white checkered ones are used mostly by Marxists. Not to say that that's exclusively, but if you see red and white, it's usually a Marxist. Uh, but black and white would be more likely either religion or anarchism. Uh, and then there's also green, which symbolize olives and the durability and so like uh, they can weather droughts and all that.
olive trees so you know uh, it's a beautiful thing I think and in a time where people are being uh, wiped from the earth simply for who they are we need to recognize this and do not let it go uh, it, it's not good you know people so I hope we could put aside our differences you know what I mean some of us may not believe in this it's it's all the same like one thing that's crazy that I learned is um, Islam was made uh, brought about to sort of try to unite uh, Christians and Jewish people uh, by the Prophet Muhammad but it did not work as you guys know because well yeah we're, we made a crafting table here. We're going to get started on crafting our new uh, instruments of war or hunting or mining. Depending on which context we got to use them. If we get hit by a spider, we're going to be thwapping it. Knocking the spider around. But if it's a spider, it's all good. We can endure whatever we can endure because anything natural is, you know, people have been through it. It's foreseeable and we can endure it my people we need to know this it makes us much more strong when we acknowledge what we are capable of by doing it and making sure we don't regret stuff shout out to everybody who's watching this i hope i don't sound preachy and all that uh we'll just end the episode here after i send some more food into the oven or the furnace i should say because I got two furnaces cooking different types of meat. We're going to be eating good, people. So I hope this first episode of Let's Play... Hey, look, I just made this part to show you guys. When people pee in urinals, when I go to the one side, right? Somebody always come in and go right beside me. Why do they do that? Is what I wanted to ask you guys. Because look, there's all these urinals available. I go to the side one. Then someone walk in, they'll go to the one right beside me when there's none, none other ones occupied. And I'm thinking, bro, are you trying to catch a glimpse? Because that's gross. You know what I mean? So, hey, everybody, we're going to end the episode here. Shout out to you guys. You guys are the coolest people, bro.